If I gave you 12 great things to say in a job interview, and these are the same phrases that natives use, would you sound more fluent? Would you feel more confident? If you said yes, well then let's get started and make sure you watch until the end. Welcome back to J4S English. Of course, I'm Jennifer. Now let's get started. The first great thing I want you to say in a job interview right at the beginning of the interview is, first, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. You should say this right at the beginning because expressing gratitude, I would like to thank you, expressing gratitude makes a great first impression. You should also say this because expressing gratitude, it helps build rapport, which means build a positive relationship, build rapport with the interviewer. Now you can say first, you could also say first off, firstly, or before we begin. And notice the grammar here. I would like plus infinitive to thank you plus for, and then you need a noun or a gerund. In my example, I used a noun. Thank you for this opportunity. You could also say, firstly, I would like to thank you for meeting with me. So notice here, meeting is the gerund. Now, I want you to think about how you can use these phrases outside of a job interview, maybe at a networking event, a meeting, or imagine if I began this lesson today by saying, before we begin this lesson, I would like to thank you for supporting my channel. Your support means so much to me. Now, let's start the lesson. Remember how I said that can help build rapport. You may feel a deeper connection to me because I expressed my gratitude and it was sincere. So think about how you can use these expressions in other situations. And if you agree that this is a great way to start an interview, a lesson, a presentation, put that's right, put that's right, that's right in the comments. And don't worry about taking notes because I summarize everything in a free lesson PDF, you can find the link in the description. Number two, I have researched your company and I'm impressed. This shows your interest in the specific company. You're not just applying because it's a job, you're truly interested in the company. And also complimenting the company by saying, I'm impressed, that's a compliment, it's a positive comment. Complimenting the company, it also helps build rapport with the interviewer because who doesn't like being complimented? Just one note, you must personalize this based on the specific company. So let's say you're applying for a position in my company for this YouTube channel. You could say, I have researched the J-Force English YouTube channel and I'm impressed that you increased your subscriber count by 400% in eight months. Now grammatically notice, to be impressed plus that, it's optional, and then a clause, a subject, a verb, and an object. I'm impressed that you increased your subscriber count. That's the clause, a subject, a verb, and an object. You could also say, I have researched the j English YouTube channel and I'm impressed by the number of videos you've created. 1,200 videos is an accomplishment. Notice here, to be impressed by plus noun, by the number of videos. But then I went on to make it specific and I referenced the specific number of videos. Number three, I'm excited to be considered for this role because it perfectly aligns with my passion for. 
This shows your interest in the specific role again. And also hiring managers, they love people who are passionate about their work, who don't just see it as something to finish as quickly as possible, who truly enjoy doing the work. That's why this is a smart thing to say. Notice here, I'm excited to be considered for this role because it perfectly aligns with my passion for graphic design or maybe creating stunning graphics. Here, to perfectly align, this is another way of saying it's a perfect match. It's a perfect fit. In a job interview or in a more formal presentation or formal setting, it's best to use more advanced words or to add adjectives to basic words to make them sound stronger. And that's what you're doing here by saying it perfectly aligns. Now, notice here, my passion for, you can have a noun, my passion for graphic design, or you can have a gerund, a verb in ing, my passion for creating stunning graphics. And again, add an adjective like stunning to help make the language sound more advanced. Number four, I have a proven track record. Do you know what a track record is? This is a record of past accomplishments, past successes. Grammatically, you would say I have a proven track record of plus gerund. For example, I have a proven track record of delivering financial reports on time. Or I have a proven track record of helping YouTube channels like mine increase their subscribers by 100% in 90 days. Again, always be as specific as possible with the results or outcomes you can achieve once hired. Number five, this definitely describes you. I'm committed to continuously learning and improving my expertise. Grammatically, the structure is to be committed to plus a gerund verb, your verb in ing. This is a great thing to say because I'm committed it's strong language, strong language that leaders use. So if you use this language, you sound like a leader. Now, continuously, this is an adverb, and this is important because it means now and in the future. One's expertise, this is a more advanced way of saying one's skills and qualifications. And this is a great thing to say because hiring managers love people who want to keep learning and improving. The fact that you're constantly improving your English language skills is a positive thing. Managers love people who love learning. Number six, I value feedback as it helps me grow and improve. This is a smart thing to say because hiring managers love people who can take criticism. Feedback is a positive way of saying criticism. If I tell you you didn't do a good job, you can take that feedback, you can accept it and learn from it. And notice here grammatically, I value, you can use a noun, I value feedback, or you can use a gerund verb. I value receiving feedback as it helps me grow and improve. As is another way of saying because. Personally, I find it sounds more formal because because is used in everyday speech, as isn't as commonly used, so it sounds more formal. And here, providing the reason, it makes it seem more believable. I value receiving feedback as I'm committed to continuous growth. So here, notice we're using to be committed to, and in this case, I used continuous, which is an adjective, now and in the future. Number seven, although I haven't had the opportunity 
to manage a team yet, I'm motivated and eager to develop my skills in this area. This is a longer sentence, but notice the different parts. First, we have, although I haven't had the opportunity to do, you need an infinitive here. And then add the word yet, because this is in the present perfect. Now your infinitive to do could be to prepare financial reports, to create a database, to conduct market research, whatever fits the position you're hiring for. And add the word yet because it implies it's still possible for you to do the action because this is an unfinished timeline. The second part of this sentence is I'm motivated and eager to develop my skills in this area. You can be specific and say to develop my writing skills, research skills, or leadership skills. And this is smart because hiring managers love people who want to keep learning and improving just like you. So put that's right, that's right, put that's right in the comments. Number eight, I'm confident I can add value to your company. Again, saying I'm confident, this is strong language that leaders use. The structure is to be confident plus clause. Remember, a clause is a subject, verb, and object. Now, be as specific as possible about the value you can provide. For example, I'm confident I can grow your YouTube channel by 100% in 90 days. If someone sent this to me as an email, I would want to meet with that person. Number nine, I strongly believe I am the best candidate for this position. Don't be shy in an interview to tell the person that they should hire you. But there's a way to do it that sounds very professional and confident. And by saying I strongly believe is the way to do that because this is strong language that leaders use and the hiring manager will respect your confidence. This is great for the end of the interview after you've provided specific examples of how you can add value. If you use this more at the beginning of an interview, make sure you share actual examples of how you can accomplish this and how you can be the best candidate. Now let's imagine it's the end of the interview and it's your turn to ask the interviewer a question. You can say, number 10, what's the most important goal you would like me to achieve once I'm hired? This is a smart thing to say because once you know the answer, you can share how you're the right person to achieve it. And you can make sure that you're telling the interviewer the exact priority and how you have the skills and experience to achieve that. Now notice here, I said, once I'm hired, this assumes the job is mine. Grammatically, you can say if I'm hired, but if you say that, it sounds like there's a chance someone else will be hired. And you always want to speak as though the position is yours. Number 11, before we end, I would love to add one thing, if that's all right with you. This is smart because it gives you the opportunity to clarify, correct, or add important information. For example, if you really didn't like how you answered one of the questions, now is the time to provide more information on that specific question. And by phrasing it as a question, if that's all right with you, this is a sign of politeness and respect. And don't worry, the interviewer will say, absolutely, please go ahead. Now notice grammatically, I would love plus infinitive. We have to add, to clarify, to highlight. You can use other word choices. Make sure it's in the infinitive. And at the very end of the interview, you can say number 12, thank you again for taking the time to meet with me.
This ends the interview on a positive note. Thank you sounds more formal than thanks. Of course, you can say thanks, but thank you sounds more formal. Thank you again because you already expressed thanks at the beginning. Thank you again for plus Jaren. You could say thank you again for giving me the opportunity to interview for this position. Thank you again for considering me for this position. There are absolutely many different things you can say. Make sure you're following the correct grammatical structure. Of course, I have more interview phrases I could share with you. If you would like me to create another lesson with this, put more, 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 put more, 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 more in the comments. And of course, make sure you like this lesson, share it with your friends and subscribe so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. And you can get this free speaking guide where I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. You can click here to download it or look for the link in the description and you can keep expanding your vocabulary to sound professional with this lesson right now.